Hello and welcome back to Von Mailhausen Plays Darkfall, the journal. Uh, we have uh, we had just finished over the last few episodes, kind of going through everything that was on uh, Terminal One here in the computer. So we are finally done there. Are you sure you wish to leave the system? Yes. Okay. So uh, we do also have here Terminal Two. Uh, I am not seeing. Unfortunately, I was hoping if I got back to this desk that I would see these Rad Division goggles. Uh, but I have not seen these anywhere. And, oh, there they are. Yes! Rod vision goggles. Because I'm hoping... Uh, it, it says that these help you to like see beyond the visible. So what I'm thinking is that maybe that painting uh, downstairs on the first floor... Uh, the one, there's like one painting that you can randomly look at and turn on your torch. Uh, I think it was... Um, it wasn't Matilda's fly room. I think it was Gloria uh, Gravel's room. She's like, you know, why am I staying in this hotel? It's simply ghastly or whatever it is. Uh, you can turn the torch on it, but you don't see anything else. So I'm hoping maybe that means with the rad vision goggles, I can see something else. And we're definitely missing an item early. Well, I don't know if it's early. They're not really in chronological order because this bird picture came from up on the third floor. And this lantern we got down in the... Uh, the train station area so I uh, hmm. we're missing an item there possibly that's the thing that's going to be used to poke out uh, whatever it is from the keyhole uh, the the key for the study belonging to George Crabtree on the third floor and they also have this thing which to my eyes looks like the kind of lever you'd use to open a manhole cover uh, but I don't know we haven't found a use for that yet Anyway, uh, that is that stuff. Uh, so, Terminal 2, which should be protected by a password. Yes, indeed. And we got that in one of the previous episodes. It should be Chucky Chow, I believe. Let me just check the spelling here in my Chicky Chow. So, C H I C K Y C H O W. Ooh, fancy. Wow. Okay, uh, so I guess this is a, yeah, this would, looks like it's a map of the hotel a wee bit, certainly on the ground floor, I guess. So if that's the foyer and that's the office, then, um, oh no, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. That's the office at the back of the hotel. And that's the reception desk area. And the door to the bar is over here. And then there's the two bathrooms. That's fine. And we have the stairs going up. And you have the buffet room, the dining room area. And then the door out to the platform. That's fine. And then there's this room in here. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the, um, that's the room that our brother was staying in. The uh, waiting area off the foyer for the train station. That's the stairs that goes up to Tiny Tim's little uh, waiting point. Uh, can we maneuver this map at all? No, but possibly when we click on the things up above. Uh, that's the ticket office kind of thing, and let's see the rest of that area there. Okay, and then these are the actual train tracks themselves. That's the bridge tunnel, I guess it's going to say. All right. So what happens if we click on one of these things up here? Okay, we see the view from the camera, I guess. Camera detected, range 10 meters, data re received, data transmitting 30%. Cam 1, platform 1, signal 89%. Okay, let's have a look at the second one then. So this is in the ticket office in the train station. Signal 75%, signal boosted due to distance. I guess it's maybe a bit easier for the one out here on the platform because it's outside, so it's, and we're like in one of these rooms up here in the hotel. Whereas this is inside the building, and has to go through walls or something. Uh, oh, there's a little, ghostly lights dancing around there. OK. 
Okay. Camera three. So this is in the uh, gents hotel um, in the uh, behind the reception area on the ground floor. Okay, signal 84%. Not really seeing anything of any great notice or interest there. Uh, then this is the one behind the bar. Okay, this is where ghosts, ghosties flying around the piano. There's another one. Okay, bar is clearly a popular spot for the ghosties. And why not? Okay, so they're flying into and out of the piano and that painting. And then just round it to the bar. All right. Next one then. Dining room. Never noticed that window up there, the cross-shaped one. It's kind of interesting. But other than seeing this thing fading in and out all the time, I'm not really not really seeing anything of any great interest here. Uh, let's have a look at the next one then. So room 1C. Was this anybody's room in particular? No, we don't have a name for this room. But I do seem to recall that we saw a photograph before, something slowly a dark shape forming over the bed over the course of a few minutes and then attacking this camera. We kind of we saw a face. There's uh, some of the photographs we saw somewhere. Okay, not a lot going on there. Oh, microphone detected. Signal boosted live feed. Now this is room Room 1F. Which we also don't have a name for. But I'm pretty sure this is the room that had the thermometer in the drawer. As you do. really seeing anything else happen here. Uh, so that camera is offline. Now, we had a list from one of Polly's documents about where all the cameras are. So one was out in the platform, two was at the station office, three was in the gents loo, four is in the pub, five was in the dining room, uh, six is in room 1C above the door, seven is in room 1F on the table, and then camera 8 is supposed to be on floor 2, facing the stairs. Okay, there definitely seems to be a lot of misery associated with room 1F. So let me just make a note of that. 1F misery on microphone. In 10 years time when I find this notebook, I'm going to be like, what the hell was I writing about? Okay, so we might need to go and check out the location then of camera eight. Uh, so I'm gonna make a note of that as well. Check cam eight status. Okay. So camera nine then, room 2D, our room. Huh? That was weird. The room rearranged briefly. Yeah, it's like there's two overlapping states, the current state and some historical state. You can see the, the two pictures, paintings that are missing on the wall here in our time are visible on the wall there. Interesting. Hmm. And 
then finally, oh. Oh, right. This gives us access to the thermo scanner. Of course, which is connected to camera 10, which is down in the basement. Correct. Okay. So, what have we got? Cam 10 seller uh, signal 89%. Thermal scanner detected. Signal okay. Adjust scales. Blah, blah, blah. Adjust dials to scan for alternate depths. No cavity detected with the current settings. So, I'm guessing there's a hidden room in the basement. And in fact, in I think on the other computer, we saw a photograph. Uh, or was it on the, the. We found a device on one of the shelves somewhere that had a bunch of photographs on it and one of them was like a photograph of some symbols above what looks like a stone doorway so i'm guessing that's down in the basement somewhere and it's the thing that nigel found and opened that led to polly going oh jesus oh jesus it's after us it's after us what'll i do and that was her last kind of like uh her last note in her journal now she wrote down, see these things here, 0, 020, 0, 070, blah, blah. She wrote these down on the bathroom. We saw it when we shone the uh, light from the bathroom mirror onto it. So the first one is 0, 0, 0020. The second one is 0, 0, 0090. Can I hold these down? Oh, God, I can't. 90, okay. The next one is 0, 0, 0, 0005, well, just 5. And density is going to be 40. <laughs> Cavity detected beyond initial surface area. Manual inspection recommended. Cavity size unknown. So it looks like... Okay, where's the thing pointed at? I see crates that are stacked. And then there's some crap against the wall, and behind the crap on the wall, I guess, is uh, the thing. Because if I remember, the thermal scanner was kind of pointed at like a whole pile of junk, so I guess behind the junk is going to be the um, this stone doorway portal thing that uh, poor Nigel unearthed and opened, which is where the great evil was hiding. Dun dun dun. Okay. Well, I don't think there's really anything else for us to do here right now. Yeah. Yes. Here, what? Oh, I can't turn to face the I want to believe poster. Okay, I couldn't. Can't do it from this way, but I can triple left turn to turn right. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, uh, so what have we got next then? Uh, so I also want to check out the Ouija board. I am not gonna, I'm gonna leave checking out that uh, thing in the basement to last because I suspect that'll be kind of end game kind of stuff. So uh, I want to do the Ouija board and I also want to have a look at the water system in the attic. Uh, because it occurred to me that a lot of the taps in the game are interactable like you can turn the taps on and off uh, but obviously there's no water flowing to any of them so it occurred to me that maybe if we fiddle with the stuff up in the attic we can get water flowing to the taps and maybe something was jammed up into one of the taps and when we turn on the water it'll fall out into the sink and we can pick it up or something I don't know I'm just kind of pulling at straws with that one now before we leave the room here there's one final thing I want to do on uh, on Polly's terminal here that super dodgy website uh, that gives you your like astrology reading or whatever based on your birth date which appears only when you go to the mystery thing uh, I had a look around uh, through the other stuff on this computer and I couldn't find any dates but we do have the date of the event itself which is the um, 29th of the 4th, 1947. Ask. 
I see, I see that you were born male in your last earthy incarnation. You were born somewhere in modern Egypt around 1100. Your profession was builder of houses, temples, and cathedrals. Your belief, uh, your brief physiological profile in that last life, ruthless, uh, sorry, psychological profile, ruthless character, carefully weighing his decisions in critical situations with excellent self-control and strong will. Such people are generally liked, but not always loved. Lesson uh, that your last past life brought to present your lesson to study to practice and to use wisdom enclosed in psychological sciences and in ancient manuscripts with strong faith and hard work you will reach your real destiny in present life doesn't really seem like as any oh can i delete this text <laughs> i can um doesn't really seem like that has any bearing to the uh to the date of the events in the hotel i thought it might have been funny if he had put in some kind of special message for that one hear what oh hear ah hear the goggles there we go right interesting so there's going to be certain places oh look 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 that pencil right there is hovering in the air in the past so maybe that's the pencil that we can pick up to scooby-doo the lock up on the third floor fascinating okay what have we got here um oh the picture on the left there the the woman that's sitting down that looks very much like the same picture that was in the painted in the door frame of the artist studio up on the third floor not sure about the second one but that first one looks familiar uh the in o sense mean well useless pieces useless pawns with electric gifts they think they know uh, useless voices thrown away now some of these letters are capital uh, T I N C T W L P E Y K W E T N A, and I'm not sure if that U or that U count as being capital, but I presume they do because there's other words here with no capitals at the start. So let me uh, jot down all of these letters. T N A. Okay, that's that made a note of. <clears throat> so let's go check out this pencil. Okay, and I can't use the spectral goggles here or here or here. And no, I can't click on her pencil, even though that would be. That would be perfect for. Uh, I can't shine a light on the table or use any of these items, but man, I really want that pencil. And there's another pencil right there. Damn it. And it really is hovering. Yeah, look, it's just floating right there. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we still have a couple of things to check out. Let's see, is there any of them that would be quick that we can fit into the rest of this episode? Uh, yeah, I guess so. We can check out uh, camera eight, which should be on floor two facing the stairs, and we're currently on floor two. So camera eight is allegedly around about here somewhere. But I don't know, like I've never seen camera eight. We can't like walk any further here. I guess maybe it used to be set up on this box. Now if it is, it's not there now. And the other thing we can go check out is down in the bar. I had an idea there as well, so we can actually go down this way. Sh 
link and this way okay my idea was in ah here now that we have the thermo scanner or the goggles this by the way was not my actual idea i wonder why the goggles are making this weird noise here okay what does it say t y m a tick and tuck timer tick and tuck and tick and tuck AMYT, no, TYMA, one of many, TCX, one too many, one of many, one too many, tick and talk, TYMA, let me write down TYMA, uh, but the idea that I had was in relation to the piano. So we know that we can play random notes here. Minor interruption there, so I can't remember exactly what I was going to say, but generally the idea that I did have was, um, so we got the notes from the trombone uh, on the musical scale, and from that website we got the letters that are associated with those, um, those notes and the keys on the keyboard that they go with. So with this, we know that some of the keys are busted. Um, so that one's busted and we can't play that one. So we only really have one octave here that we can kind of play. So the notes on the trombone were G, G, A, B, C, uh, which would be uh, this one, G, A, B, C. Aha! What have we got here? Ooh! Another one of the symbols. Excellent. So I'm guessing that's going to be Betty's symbol. Uh, right, let me make a note of that. Okay. So that's Betty's symbol. And... Nothing else I can look at there. I've already made a note of all of this madness. Can't look at anything there. Still can't go behind the bar. Can't look at anything there. Oh, there's something here as well. Good evening. Have not seen George about, have you? I'll have a bottle of wine while I wait. I have some fantastic news. I must share it with someone. <laughs> Betty's playing well tonight. Marvellous. But it's paid off. I think we're in for quite a night, don't you think? Hmm, okay, well that's clearly uh, Andrew Verney asking about George here in the bar and talking about his uh, phenomenal discovery of the new constellation. Can't look at anything here. That one still does nothing. And that's it for the bar. Cool. Well, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time on Von Milhausen Plays. Darkfall, the journal.